Hello, this is Willie Reed, Dean of the College of Veterinary Medicine. Probably the most important project that's happening now in the college is our new hospital uh, project. In 2019, we were appropriated uh, funds from the Indiana State Legislature, along with funds from the university and private donations to build a much needed teaching hospital in our college. It's a large project uh, just to the uh, east of the current uh, Lynn Hall. Uh, it's about $108 million, 156,000 gross square feet. This hospital is actually composed of three hospitals. We will replace about half of our small animal hospital, uh, completely replace our large animal hospital, which is divided into two components, our equine hospital and our farm animal hospital. And we're very pleased that uh, construction is moving forward with an estimated uh, completion date of December 2021. We hope to occupy the facility in March of 2022. Needless to say, everyone in the college is quite excited about this much needed uh, addition uh, to, the, to the college. Also, uh, because of this hospital, we will be able to, of course, uh, expand our clinical research programs. Uh, this will allow us to uh, recruit the best and brightest faculty and students. And so uh, it is great not only for Purdue, uh, for our college, but certainly great for our state. In regards to students, we admitted the class of 2024 back in August. It's a, a great class. It's academically uh, very, very highly qualified. Uh, we selected 84 students from uh, an applicant pool of well over 1,600. So it was a very competitive, competitive process to enter into the College of Veterinary Medicine here at, at Purdue. In regards to the college's role in the COVID-19 response, I had the honor of chairing the co-chairing uh, the university's uh, Safe Campus Task Force. Uh, from that task force, we developed over 150 recommendations. From those recommendations, uh, the Protect Purdue plan uh, was developed and has been uh, implemented. And also, the Animal Disease Diagnostic Laboratory is playing a crucial role as part of the Protect Purdue Health plan. We're actually running COVID-19 testing in our Animal Disease Diagnostic Laboratory. That laboratory has a wide range of capability in providing diagnostics on the, in the animal world, but now we are addressing the needs on the human side. The technology that we're using, we are well versed with it. We use it every day, and we were able to establish quickly the PCR test that is really playing an important role in providing the testing needs uh, uh, for the campus. So I couldn't be more proud of the faculty and staff of that important uh, laboratory here in, in, on our campus. Uh, in regards to research, uh, even though we're in the middle of a, a pandemic, our faculty continue to be successful in uh, uh, having their research uh, grants uh, funded. In fact, research funding is up um, above where it was this time uh, last year. Uh, we, are able, we were able to secure funding for a couple of proposals actually to address the COVID-19 pandemic. One project uh, especially uh, that we're excited about, and that project deals with developing a novel uh, vaccine uh, for COVID-19. And that work is being uh, led by Dr. Uh, Suresh Middle. Uh, Dr. Harm Hoganish, uh, our Associate Dean for Research, is also working on that project as well as others uh, to address uh, COVID-19. Our engagement programs, uh, which are highly regarded and award-winning, continue to do well. Uh, Dr. Sandy San Miguel just received another huge grant from the National Institutes of Health to fund her pipeline uh, programs to address the need for more diversity in, in the veterinary profession, as well as to uh, produce more veterinarians to address the needs in rural America, particularly relating to public health uh, food safety and food uh, security. While we had to cancel all of our on-campus engagement programs this summer, especially our, our vet camps, uh, we hope to reestablish those programs uh, next, next summer. In fact, we hope to have more camps 
than we've ever had before in one particular summer in order to, to catch up. Thank you very much.